Hi, I'm Steve Good. Welcome to my Scroll Salt Workshop. As uh, scroll saw artists, we're always looking for new ways to uh, decorate the projects we make and to make projects unique and uh, something that's a little different from what everybody else is making, especially if you're on the craft circuit and you're trying to sell your uh, products. You guys know how important it is to be unique. And uh, I've got a product that I want to show you tonight that uh, I think just might give you a little uh, edge in the uniqueness category. And uh, it's called Inlace. It's a liquid inlay material. And I uh, just want to take a few minutes to show you how I'm going to use it in my projects. Here's the package of the product that I want to show you tonight. And again, it's called Inlace. And it's a liquid inlay system. And what you get in this box is you get a can of the uh, resin. Uh, which has the different uh, coloring and texture uh, materials included in it. And you also get a bottle of the hardener. So it's basically like a two-part resin uh, where you uh, mix up the, the inlay material, then mix it with a, a hardener, and it, oh, it sets overnight and gets hard. And uh, you can get it in uh, different types. They've got, uh, oh, what do they got? They've got turquoise, which is what I'm going to show you tonight, and uh, several different uh, uh, colors and uh, textures that you can uh, buy. Now the stuff's a little bit expensive. It, uh, this box was $29.95, but a little bit goes a long way so far in the uh, tests that I've been doing with it. So I don't think it's too too bad a purchase when you realize what you're going to get out of it. And uh, with that, I'm going to show you the project that I'm going to use it for uh, and show you how to use it tonight, and then uh, we'll move on from there. I want to show you this example first, and this is a uh, keychain that I made without using the liquid inlay material and I just want to show you how it's constructed and then I'll show you what we're going to do after that. Um, it's a two-part keychain. Uh, I've got a 1 8 inch piece of walnut on the back and on the front I've got some maple and uh, in this case I've cut my wife's name out of it but uh, in the pattern book that I'll be including online uh, it'll also have uh, several different graphics you can use and uh, what I'm working on is another program that will automatically generate uh, these patterns for you so you can customize them with names uh, of your choosing. Now what I've done after I made this, I thought this would be a great opportunity to use this inlace material. So what I did is I used the same two-part project and I inlaid the recesses with the uh, turquoise and uh, I think they really turned out nice. Uh, kind of hard to see I'm sure here on camera but uh, once they're sanded down and buffed out pretty good it gives a nice uh, turquoise effect really looks good so uh, I'm real happy with these and I think you guys will be too because they are a little bit unique and uh, again I'll have the pattern book available on my site at first I'm only going to have the generic patterns but uh, I'm working towards getting the uh, ones with the names on it and I'll get that out to you guys as soon as I can okay with that I'm going to show you how we uh, well let me let me show you the next one I've got this is the one we're going to be working on tonight. And I went ahead and I've got this one cut out and uh, laminated together and uh, got it clamped up to let it dry. And uh, this is my sister-in-law's name and I'm going to do this keychain for her. And uh, so anyway, after you get it cut out and laminated the two boards together, then I need to take it over and sand everything flush and make it look real nice before we do the inlay. I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll meet you back over here and we'll put the inlay material in it. I've got the box open and I've got all the materials out here we're going to need. And again, here's my keychain blank that we're going to be creating this project out of. I've already got it all sanded down, made sure I got all the dust outside of the, uh, or out of the name here where we're going to be putting the inlay. So the keychain's ready to go except for the hole that we'll need for the chain and I'll do that last. Uh, the inlay material comes with this can right here of the turquoise and uh, it's recommended that you stir it real well uh, before you use it. And uh, when you open it up, uh, you'll see the material in there. And again, uh, it doesn't look like a very big can, but from what I've seen so far, uh, it, it does go a long way. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Uh, it is a two-part system, so this is a hardener. Now, what they say is this is a one-ounce cup. Uh, they, it comes with a three-ounce and a two-ounce cup. This one-ounce cup uh, will, if you fill it up with this, it requires 20 to 25 drops of the hardener and um, so you know you're obviously not going to need this much to do these keychains uh, just probably a quarter of this cup at the very most is all we're going to need so you'll want to adjust down the amount of hardener you put in it uh, by however much of the inlay you use 
And uh, it says in the instruction that less hardener is better than too much because it'll take too long to dry or maybe not dry at all. Uh, the instructions say to wait uh, 12 hours before you try to sand the material and I found that to be a little short. I actually ended up waiting almost a full 24 hours before I sanded these uh, keychains that I made here and buffed them out. And uh, by the time it, it had gotten hard after 24 hours, it really did sand quite easy. And it sanded, even with a fairly coarse grit sandpaper, it sanded down to a pretty nice finish. So I was pretty happy with that. Okay, so the first thing you do when you open up the can is make sure you stir it up real good. So we'll give it a pretty good stir here. 